What's up, guys? What's my name? What's my name? Genos here, guys, and uh, let's talk about the fire heat today. Okay, the full name is Fallen Knight Heat. He is a fire unit and a tank unit. And guys, he is so awesome, guys. Really, really awesome, guys. And before getting started, I would really like to recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying contents like this in your near future and now let's get this started let's start with the first skill known as the death march okay so it taunts enemy for 20 seconds guys right here <laughs> really good guys right off the bat really good skill because most of the tank units in this game have about 15 seconds of taunt but this guy is offering a 20 second of taunt right away so plus five seconds of taunt that's really great guys really really great 70 percent chance to reduce the enemy's attack for 30 seconds level four uh skill so that's pretty good okay so less damage you are gonna receive uh for a longer time you are gonna you know uh induce taunt so that's really great guys the next one is the dharma chakra uh it increases the caster's defense for 60 seconds and it's a level 5 skill so that's pretty good now moving on to the karma uh deals damage based on the enemy's max hp so more the hp the enemy has the more damage he's gonna deal and especially in during the world raid he really deals a lot of damage guys because that servant i mean like that enemy has a lot of hp right so he really deals an insane amount of damage guys so damage dealing based on the enemy's H max hp is pretty good guys pretty good uh, as a tank he actually deals a lot of damage as well at the same time depending on the situation so he's really good uh, during the dungeons as well now, increasing increases the glancing hit rate of the enemy for 60 seconds when caster is under attack by level 5 a level 5 glancing hit rate boosting that's so great guys i mean like he is gonna receive very very less amount of damage guys uh combined with his uh, defense increase by for 60 seconds and also glancing hit rate he is gonna you know take as much as less damage as much as possible guys less damage as much as possible that's pretty good guys and now let's move on to the, his passive okay passive skill where he shines like a twinkling star the amount of damage received at once does not exceed 30 percent of max hp wow <laughs> oh my god guys in the pvp content fire anko and fire zeta or any sort of servants who are actually ignoring the defense are like a terror and in those kind of terror situations here is our fire heat who is standing as a last hope because even though uh, he is supposed to be knocked out or he is supposed to be, you know, like uh, wiped out of the map in just one shot. But hey guys, with his passive skill, <laughs> he is just only going to take 30% of his max HP as a damage. So 70% still remains. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty, pretty good. So if you really are having a lot of difficult time in the PvP content while really fighting against the, uh, you know, uh, defense, uh, ignoring type of uh, servants like Fire Zeta and Fire Heed, I mean like Fire Anko, then you are supposed to take the Fire Heed. So if you have this unit, rejoice! Rejoice, guys. Rejoice, guys. One of the best tank in the game, hands down hands down if an ally Imeria is present hp increases by 100 percent oh my god guys so with this tank if you have like fire Imeria, i'm like Imerja, who is gonna be a very good healer right you can actually deal a lot i mean like i mean you are gonna tank a lot guys you are gonna tank a lot damn Go with Fire Imirja, one of the best healer in this game you have and the tank, one of the best tank in this game. Damn, those two guys are gonna help you clear the content in a very stylish fashion, guys. Really great. Now, let's move on to the team passive. Resist of all 
element allies increases by 55% at tower so pretty specific uh, not really that broad uh, anyways uh, a little bit unique depending on the races so if you guys are really against a unit or the opponents who are really good at uh, proking you know uh, debuff on you like dot damage over time uh, defense break attack break then you can actually take fire heat so that he can actually minimize the chances of proking the debuff on your team okay but it's only limited in the tower or let's say the abaddon okay so that's uh that's uh, that's that's really bad guys uh i really don't i'm not a fan of the team passive but hey guys looking in the first second uh and the combo skill and the passive skill guys he is a monster he is a freaking monster he is gonna help you guys in the tiles uh, really nicely and in pvp he is the he is the lord <laughs> he's the lord in the pvp if you haven't just use him in the pvp guys in the abaddon he is gonna really help you a lot in the omen he is awesome guys in the omen omens omens void he's really awesome you can use him in the heat as well and the overall as in the overall stats he is a really really awesome unit guys really really awesome guys really awesome unit now let's get into the equipment guide Anyways, I already have him, so I guess I really have a good equipment for him. So obviously, what's the good equipment for him? It's the all life or maybe iron, depending upon the situation, okay? But for me, I really prefer the all life, okay? As he's a really good tank. And now looking on to the weapon, uh, it should, uh, the primary stat is a flat stat. So you really don't need to worry about the primary stat okay same goes with the shirt and the pants so you just need to focus on the additional stats or the substats okay there are a total of particularly four substats that you really need to focus on the first one is speed the other one is death percentage boost the next one is the hp percentage boost and the finally accuracy percentage boost okay that's how it goes uh whereas for the gloves you need to go for the speed percentage guys speed percentage really 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 speed percentage because you will have to use his first skill or you can actually just go with the sp percentage but i really prefer you guys to go with the speed person a speed boost as the primary stat in the gloves but as for the helmet you really have to go for the sp percentage boost no question asked very important guys and in the shoes as well you need to go with the hp percentage boost because he has nothing much of uh what do you say guys uh much of the uh, debuff to inflict okay so more sp he has the more tanky he's gonna get right so you really need to focus on his tankiness so basically i would really love to recommend you guys uh in summary that uh, the gloves helmet and shoes needs to have speed uh hp percentage and hp percentage as their primary stand okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying contents like this in your near future and guys please leave your opinions and views in the comment section below i would really love to communicate with you guys and see you guys in the next video